Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'll be walking you through the installation of your new AMP Wireless Air Spring Controls Kit. Please make sure to read the entire install manual prior to starting to ensure you have all the required tools to complete the installation of your AMP Wireless Controls with your existing onboard air system. Please note that this kit is designed to be installed along the frame rail of pickup trucks. Check for clearance along the frame rail to ensure that the kit will not interfere with anything once installed. First off, we're going to start by fastening the control board to the two framing brackets using the supplied 5 16th cap screw, nuts, and washers. Torque the hardware to 17 foot-pounds or 23 pneumatic meters. We are now going to install the control board assembly onto the frame rail of the vehicle using two U-bolts, four flat washers, and four nylock nuts provided. Please make sure to mount the control board as high as possible on the frame rail and in the orientation shown. Check to ensure the control board and mounting brackets do not pinch or interfere with vehicle components. Before we begin the installation of the harness, please ensure the ignition is off. Start by locating your switched ignition wire at the fuse block in the engine bay of your vehicle. You will need to route the red-black harness from the control board to the engine bay. Using the supplied zip ties, secure the harness away from any heat sources and moving components. You may extend or trim the harness as necessary. Strip the end of the black wire and crimp it to the supplied ring terminal. You can then connect the ring terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. If the negative terminal of the battery is not accessible, an external chassis ground may be used provided it has a clean contact. Use the blue heat shrinkable splice to connect the fuse holder to the red wire. Then crimp the male spade terminal to the other end of the fuse holder. You can then insert the supplied 10A fuse into the fuse holder. 
use the blue 16 to 14 gauge T-tap and crimp it onto a 12 volt switch ignition source. Then connect the male spade terminal to the T-tap. The T-tap can be crimped onto a constant 12 volt source, giving you the ability to control your air springs without even having to turn on your truck. Using the supplied tube cutters, cut your air line to fit. Do not use scissors as they may distort the line and cause your fittings to leak. Connect the input of your solenoid block to the outlet of your onboard air system. Connect the inlet of the driver's side air spring to the left port on the solenoid block. Connect the inlet of the passenger side inlet to the right port of the solenoid block. Make sure to use the zip ties to secure the airlines away from heat sources and moving components. And that's it, you've completed the installation. Next we'll be looking at the installation and functionality of the app on your mobile device and pairing it with your AMP wireless control board. You can download the AMP Wireless Air Controls app on Google Play or visit packbreak.com backslash wireless to download the latest version. Start by switching your vehicle to ignition power or idle the engine to power on the controller. Open the systems page in your device. Under wireless and networks, go to the Bluetooth option and turn on Bluetooth. Refresh and search for the controller with Bluetooth ID Packbreak AMP. Select the controller for pairing and if prompted for a six digit pairing code, select pair. If successful, the wireless AMP controller will be added to the list of paired devices on your mobile device. Open the AMP Wireless Controls app. The Bluetooth toggle will illuminate to show that your device is successfully connected to the controller on your AMP Wireless Controls kit. Please note, it is highly recommended to only pair one device to your controller to avoid loss of connectivity. Press and hold the inflation or deflation button to adjust the pressure in your air springs. Use the air spring selection tab to select which air spring to inflate or deflate. Packbreak does not limit the minimum or maximum pressure in your air springs, so inflate your air springs according to your air spring manufacturer's guidelines. Use the preset tab to save your pressure presets. Press and hold one of the preset buttons to save the current pressure value as a preset. A message on the bottom of the screen will indicate that the preset has been saved. Use these presets anytime to quickly adjust to your desired pressure. The Bluetooth toggle illuminates when it is successfully connected to the wireless controller. Tap the Bluetooth toggle to manually connect or disconnect from the controller. Please note the app automatically connects to the controller upon startup. Select which air spring to inflate or deflate by tapping on the left, both, or right button. The pressure indicator shows the pressure of each air spring with an accuracy of plus 5% over the entire range. The preset allows for rapid adjustment to the desired pressure, plus 2 PSI. Inflate both air springs to 90 PSI and wait for the pressure readings on the application to stabilize. Allow this pressure to remain in the system for a few minutes and ensure that it is not dropping. If the pressure is slowly decreasing over several minutes, use soapy water on all airline connections to detect an air leak. Repair as necessary and retest. Inflate the air springs to a predetermined value and on the following day, recheck the pressure. If one or both air springs have lost any pressure, an air leak is present. The leak must be repaired and then retested until no leaks exist. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel below.